Okay, hi everybody. So I had a request for uh, for me to do this question, but to do it with a tree diagram instead. So how many numbers can be made from the digits 0, 2, 3, 4, if the digits cannot be used more than once? Okay, so we're going to do this with a tree diagram instead of a permutation normally. So we're going to start over here. This is where our first choice is going to be made. This is where I'm going to choose between the digits here. And I'm going to do my tree diagram a little bit like this. Because my first choice here is going to be 0, 2, 3, or 4. Okay. Now, this is going to be different from some of the other tree diagrams that you would might do because we're not going to go to the very end to get the final answer. We're actually going to go branch by branch. And the reason for that is because the question doesn't specify how many digits the number can have. So it might be a one-digit number. Or, and then we go from there, there could be three options from here. There could be three options from here. There could be three options from here. Okay. Uh, now, zero doesn't produce any other options because you can't start a number with zero. Zero is just going to stand on its own. But there could be the next digit could be zero, three, or four here. It could be zero, two, or four here. It could be zero, two, or three here. Now, from each one of these, there are then two options. Okay. Uh, for this one here, it could be three or four. This one here could be 0 or 4, and this one could be 0 or 3. From here, this could be 2 or 4, this could be 0 or 4, this could be 0 or 2. From here, this could be 2 or 3, 0 or 3, 0 or 2. Now, and if you'll notice here that for each one of these things, I'm just using the other digits in that kind of section there, that branch. And then from here, there's only one final answer or final uh, value that I can go to for each one of these little branches here. So for this last one, it could only be four, this can only be three, this can only be four, this can only be zero. And you'll see that these are coming in pairs. Four, two, four, uh, zero, two, zero, three, two, three, zero, two, zero. And so now if we wanna figure out the total here, basically we just gotta calculate how many we have at each branch here. So for this first one, one, two, three, four, I've got four options. Here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine options right here. Then here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18 options here. And then because each one of those went to a single other value here, there's another 18 options there. And when you add those all together, you get 49 different numbers that you can create from those digits. So I hope that I hope that helps make sense of that question using a tree diagram.